With episode Revenant's release, the Garden of Salvation raid weapons have been overhauled with new perk combinations and the ability to be crafted. While this has been in the game for a few weeks now, as of November 5th, Bungie updated the secret chests in this raid that previously only contained armor to now drop raid weapons as well. Prior to this change, the only way to get Garden of Salvation red borders was to complete an encounter or complete the entirety of Hawthorne's questline, but now you can get these weapons as a solo player on all three characters each week. This is obviously an amazing change for solo players, but it's also great for people who are having a hard time getting raid groups together during the slower points of the Destiny content cycle. So today, I'll be covering how you can get up to six chances at free red border raid weapons each week and how you can do this as easily as possible. I'm above, and if you enjoyed today's video, a like and subscription would be greatly appreciated. Now, let's get into it. Let's kick things off with the first raid chest. This one is by far the most accessible week to week and is extremely easy to get once you know where to go. Start by loading into the raid and once you reach the first encounter, head past the floating harpy and climb into the tree. From here, you simply jump across this gap using either strand or an eager edge sword and aim for this ledge on the other side of the cliff. You'll then wanna push forward and make your way across what is normally the end of the first encounter. And when you reach the end of the field, you can either sort fly across to this ledge or simply climb up the right hand side depending on what you're comfortable with. Once you reach this square platform, you want to double jump forward into these flowers which will take us out of bounds. It may take a few tries to work, but you should be able to squeeze through no problem. You'll then want to head left and jump to this platform, at which point you'll want to switch to Salvation's Grip. You'll then want to drop down to this corner and trigger the undergrowth load zone. We'll play this in slow motion so you can see my screen hitch a little bit as it triggers the load zone at which point you want to try and kill yourself with the GL before you hit the ground. If you do this correctly, it will automatically force your respawn into the next encounter. But if you're not comfortable with the timing or you can't seem to get the hang of it, you can simply jump down and trigger the load zone slowly, then kill yourself with Salvation's Grip. When you revive, you want to cover your spawn point with Stasis Crystals and then jump away and kill yourself again before hitting the ground. The Stasis Crystals will block your revive location and force your respawn into the next encounter just like we showed previously. From here, simply drop down, then follow the wall along the left-hand side. You'll then see a Vex elevator in front of you, behind which will be the first secret chest. Now, these aren't guaranteed to drop red border weapons every time, or even normal weapons for that matter, as they do still have a chance to drop armor. But luckily, we get three chances at this chest every week, and it only takes two to three minutes per character to do. With that said, if you do get a non-red border weapon to drop, and it's one that you care about crafting, you can always use Deep Sight harmonizers to turn them into red borders for crafting progress, something you can't do with weapons that are purchased directly with spoils. Now, you can make your way through the next encounter and head to the final boss for the second secret chest, but it requires a lot more time and effort than the first chest does and can be pretty annoying to do. So in my opinion, if you want to farm the second chest solo, I'd recommend waiting for Garden to be the weekly featured raid every three weeks or so thanks to the updated raid rotator. Simply grab a final boss checkpoint from d2checkpoint.com or luckbot on twitch two resources that allow you to quickly grab the weekly featured boss checkpoints which significantly speeds up this process all you have to do is backtrack from the boss to the encounter transition behind you cross the vex milk then turn right and climb up this tree for the second hidden chest shout out to luckstruck for providing these resources to the community and i'll be sure to have these tools linked down in the description below with all of that said if you want to take the time to learn more difficult oobs and maximize your chests each week, it's definitely possible to do so, but you'll have to evaluate whether it's worth your time. You can either slowly and meticulously climb up the side of this vex structure as you can see with the footage in the background, or you can try and rocket grapple to the top using Galahorn. Marshix made a nice guide on this method specifically, and I'll have a timestamped link to that down in the description as well. In my opinion, the only issue with rocket grappling is that you'll likely have just one rocket after swapping off Salvation's Grip to get to the first chest, and if you mess up the timing even once, you either have to reload the instance or slowly climb the structure as I mentioned earlier. But once you reach the top, the rest is pretty easy. You'll need to repeatedly jump as high as possible to continuously reset your turn back timer, then jump down to the second transition and head to the final boss encounter as usual. From here, you can either take the windmill or go the long way around, but either way, you'll end up at the second chest.
chest for another chance at weekly red borders. Regardless of how many chests you guys want to hunt each week, I'll have footage of my pathing to each chest at the end of this video that you guys can follow along with for those who want a bit more guidance. If you guys enjoyed today's video, a like and subscription would be greatly appreciated, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!